Hi to everyone. Our lesson today from Unit 6, Lesson 2, Title, The Language of Newspaper. Okay, you start our lesson today from page 71, Unit 6, Lesson 2. Our title on your activity, on your student book, sorry. The language of a newspaper, Lughat al Jaraid. So we, go, we will go to the uh, word of the lesson, destroy, yudamr, explosion, infijar, fire brigade, liwa al matafi, condition, hale, serious, khatira, or jadde, evacuate, ikhla, instruct, yuajjeh, vehicle, ajale, interior, madkhal, or dakhil, prevent, yemna, bring under control, taht al saytara. The language of the newspaper, Lughati Jaraid. What's happening in the picture? What's happening in the picture? Have you ever seen anything like this? You see an explosion. Hmm? Explosion means infijar and uh, a fire and a, uh, a fire brigade. Okay, read the article and choose the best headline. After reading the article, we are choosing the best headline. The best headline. Fire destroys office building. And nar damarat binayat ashurta. Hada the best headline. Why I choose that? Because the first first headline headline one al awal police close Queen Street. Ashurta aglaqat shara al malika. It's too narrow. Is too narrow. يعني جدا عنوان ضيق مو ما بأي مع يعني ما يطلع دلالات واضحة. بينما العنوان الثالث and the fourth الثالث والرابع was is inaccurate غير دقيق بمعلومات غير دقيقة office fire and fire brigade بناية بناية المطافئ و fire brigade ولواء المطافئ توصلوا جدا بطيئين explosion destroy office building الانفجار دمر بناية الشرطة هو مكان explosion كان حريق fire Okay, then the th third and fourth was an accurate, غير دقيقة. The one is too narrow. The one is too narrow. Was the best headline. Can أفضل عنوان. Manchester Tuesday reported Dan Williams. خلنا نجي نقرأها. The fire started on the ground floor of number two hundred eighteen Queen Street. بدأت النار بالطابق الأرضي. بشارع الملكة رقمها 218 at 10.10 أيام ساعة 10 و 10 صباحا and reached the fourth floor ووصلت للطابق الرابع within a minute خلال دقائق the police and fire brigade الشرطة ولواء المطافئ arrived at 10.19 بال 10 و 19 دقيقة and they immediately began to evacuate everyone ومباشرة immediately مباشرة began to evacuate بدأوا بإخلاء everyone كل شخص from number 218 and the buildings on either side من البناية 218 والبنايات اللي بجانبها 3 minutes later بعد 3 دقائق there was a loud explosion كان هناك انفجار كبير the police instructed وجه الشرطة وجهت the crowds, الحشود, حشود الناس, in the street, بالشارع, to move away, لكي يبتعدوا from the building, من 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 البناية. They placed police vehicle, وضعوا placed يعني وضعوا placed police vehicle مركبات الشرطة at the end, في نهاية of Queen Street, نهاية شارع الملكة. And they prevented, ومنعوا members of the public. أفراد عامة الناس from entering the street من دخول الشارع. The fire was brought under control. السيطرة على النار أصبحت تحت السيطرة around 11 o'clock حوالي الساعة 10 صباحا. But the interior of the building لكن داخل البناية had been completely destroyed. دمر بالكامل. دمر بالكامل. The ambulances الإسعافات took five people أخذت خمس أشخاص to hospital للمستشفى but their condition was not serious لكن حالتهم لم تكن خطيرة. Okay, now we will go we will go to the blue box 
read the language box then do exercise and, and do the act in the activity box راح نتكلم in the, in the blue box formal and informal language حنحكي عن اللغة الرسمية وغير الرسمية formal بمعنى رسمية informal غير رسمية okay. سيقول blue box written English الإنجليزية المكتوبة for example in a newspaper uh, على سبيل المثال بالجرائد is usually هي عادة formal تكون رسمية لغة الجرائد أكيد حتكون رسمية spoken English بينما الإنجليزية المتحدثة المتكلمين بها نتكلم is usually هي عادة informal غير رسمية حقيقة there are difference هناك اختلاف in vocabulary بالتراكيب الكلمات المعانيها and in grammar وبالقواعد for example in good children in many parts of the world are starving الأطفال في في أماكن عديدة من العالم يتضورون جوعا ونفس المعنى نقول kids in many parts of the world are starving الأطفال في مختلف أجزاء مختلف من العالم يتضورون جوعا بالأول كتاب في children هاي لغة الجرائد formal بينما kids informal ال kids informal spoken English نقول kids بينما written English نقول children okay. it doesn't rain هنا الاختلاف بالvocabulary بين children و kids اختلاف بالvocabulary بينما الاختلاف in grammar شوف الاختلاف in grammar it doesn't rain حد كتبين does not rain it does not rain it doesn't rain much in Iraq. لا تمطر كثيرا بالعراق. بينما هاي وين وين بالفورمال. حد كتبين it doesn't rain much in Iraq. إن بينما إن إن فورمال إن فورمال لانجوج باللغة الغير رسمية راح تقولين it doesn't rain much in Iraq. الكتابة حتحطيها بشكل مختصر. Now you go to your activity book on page 137, 137 in your activity book, uh, read, exercise A, read the article on student book, page 71 again, read من عندش تقرين المقالة, be student book again, مرة ثانية, then listen and complete this text about the same event. إذن هو عاد عليك the same event, لكن in spoken English, باللغة ال المتحدثة الإنجليزية المتحدثة فلهذا حينعاد عليك الكلمات لكن بطريقة الانفورمال الغير رسمية خوش أوكي لسن عند أريد تملين تحاولين تملين الفراغات أنا مليتها هنا تملين الفراغات وسمعين شون حت حتكون الصياغة A Listen and complete this text about the same event as the one in your student's book. The fire started on the ground floor of number 218 Queen Street at 10.10am and it got up to the fourth floor in minutes. As soon as the police and fire brigade got here, they got everyone out of number 218 and the buildings on either side very quickly. A few minutes later, there was a loud bang. The police told the crowd in the street to get away from the building. They put police cars at the end of Queen Street and they stopped people from going into the street. By 11 o'clock, the fire seemed to be out, but the inside of the building had been completely destroyed. Ambulances took five people to hospital, but they were okay. Section 17. Okay. إذا informal language نفسها informal language كلمة reach عليكم أن تحفظوا لي الكتب هاي زايدة كتب وصل reached in within في غضون got here arrived وصل out of إخلاء evacuate bang انفجار بمعنى explosion told وجه أو أخبر instructed get move Put, placed, car, vehicle, stopped, prevent, going into, entering, 
to be out تحت السيطرة was brought under control inside داخل interior they were okay حالات غير خطيرة بخير the condition was not serious إذن عدج ال informal language الغير رسمية راح تنكتب هاي الطريقة بينما ال formal هنا أنا هاي بالنسبة تضمن exercise A and B exercise C match the formal written word and the informal spoken word حسوين matching بيناتهم الأولا number one with D محلولة number two the inter arrive وصلة inter number two with F three with E four additional four with A five with L Six with I, seven uh, with C, eight with H, placed with J, prevent with K, eleventh uh, the inter interior with J uh, with G, vehicle with B cars. Okay. Now we are going to set your homeworks. Um, on your activity book, page 138. Okay, the language in this sentence is informal. The language behind sentence is informal. Rewrite the sentence so that they are formal. Read the sentence so that they are formal. Change the contraction and replace the underlined word. وضعي الـ underlined word الكلمات اللي تحتها خط use the word in the box استخدمي هذه الكلمات in the box changing the forms لتغيير الشكل of the verbs الأفعال when necessary عندما تحتاجيها okay. خلي أترجم لكم أساعدكم بالـ homework be quiet هدوء become يصبح boy ولد أو صبي children أطفال difficult صعب director مخرج escape from يهرب من football football كرة قدم goodbye goodbye improve يطور mother mother television television تلفاز thank you very good okay replace the underlined words the underlined words and verbs to be informal language Our lesson today uh, will be completed.